The supply curve is trying to show the law of supply and trying to explain why producers do what they do. Remember, producers are incentivized by one thing and consumers are incentivized or they act for a different reason. And they're not the same reason and that's important to keep in mind. Just like we saw for law of demand, um, when we're talking about a movement along the supply curve, it's a change in quantity supplied. So we're saying at P1, I would supply Q1, but at P2, I'll supply Q2. Here, it's a direct relationship. That's evidenced in the formula because now we see a positive coefficient of P, where we saw a negative coefficient of P in uh, the demand function. When we talk about an overall change in supply, well again, now we're saying at the same price, we're willing to supply more. So here, price had to go up for me to supply more, but here, something else changed, what we call a determinant of supply, and now I'm willing to supply more at the same price. So again, the relationship between price and quantity supplied has changed, and we see this by a change of what is the C variable, um, went from negative 40 to zero. We know it's zero because it's coming from the origin. Any questions or comments, check out my other videos or post comments below.